Hi, I'm Dr. Carey. I'm a pediatrician in Ventura, California, and we are Talking Baby Care. Today, I'd like to introduce two guests who have joined me to share their child's experience with common cold. Today, it's common cold. This is Anne, the mother of Gavin, with a busy little two-year-old, and Sarah, the mother of Hannah, who is four months old. Welcome. Thank you. The definition that I tend to give is three to four days of clear runny nose, followed by three to four days of greenish yellow runny nose, followed by three to four days of clear runny nose, and then hopefully it's gone away by then. There might be a low grade fever somewhere between there, somewhere between um, 100 to 102 that will last for two to four days. And the coughing tends to be worse at nighttime and early morning with, uh, with a little bit more um, coughing towards the end of the cold because when that congestion finally breaks up, there's more post-nasal drip, there's more throat irritation, there's more coughing. I'd look over and it was every few minutes he would just have runny nose coming down and it would be clear for the first few days and I didn't really pay much mind to it. And then like you said, it was after a few days where it would, it was a different color. So we were less than a month old when Hannah was Yeah, ill. yeah. Okay. So I was, I was really, really nervous, but it was just the general, you know, she mm -hmm. was really congested and really coffee. And because she was so congested, she had a hard time eating and sleeping. Um, she was just really uncomfortable. She never had a fever, thank goodness. I remember seeing a uh, little baby who was a little bit older than, uh, than Hannah at the time, probably about three, four months in the emergency room once, who was really dehydrated and, and really couldn't eat and was as congested as can be. And I just remember the picture of the little one with a bottle right up to the mouth and we'd get really, really frustrated and try to suck it but couldn't because because the little one could not breathe through his nose and he just threw that bottle across the room in, in frustration, which really points to little children are primarily nose breathers and if they mm -hmm. can't breathe through their nose well, they don't eat well, they don't sleep well, and then you're not gonna sleep well. Yeah. So really it comes down to clearing that nose. Mm -hmm. For children who are that young, for under a couple of months old, it certainly can be scary. The uh, uh, fever would be my biggest concern initially and in any child under two months of age they really need to see the pediatrician right away for fever because babies don't have many ways of telling you how they're feeling they either don't eat well they don't sleep well uh, they run a fever I mean, there's not too much that they're not gonna say mom I'm not my tummy hurts so you have to try to figure it out and when you have a sign like a fever that certainly is a, a reason and that comes down to a lot of the things that we're concerned about with the cold isn't the cold itself, but secondary infections that can right. happen after a cold. Right. And, and the ones that we think of most often are uh, ear infections, pneumonia, mm -hmm. and sinus infections, although the sinuses in babies are pretty small, so they tend not to get sinus mm -hmm. infections as much as older people do. When the nose gets stuffy, we get fluid built up in the middle ear and that fluid sits there for a few days. And imagine a cup of chicken broth on a kitchen counter for a few days. At first, it's gonna look good, but by three to four days, something is going to start growing in this. And that's exactly what happens in the middle ear, so it's a really pretty picture, but you get, you get a whole bunch of things. And the same with the pneumonia. Fluid settles in the lungs, it sits there for a while, and then something grows. Things that concern me are a green runny nose that goes on for more than three or four days. It's, you know, what's going on here? Why is it green? Uh, we get a low-grade fever, and again, any fever in a, in a child under two months of age should be seen immediately. But in a two-year-old, low-grade fever for two to four days, it goes away, and then suddenly the fever comes back. And you're saying, why are we getting a fever spike when this cold should be on its way out? Uh, persistent day and night coughing, continual cough, not just night and early morning from an irritated throat, but constant coughing. That makes me concerned that there's a pneumonia. So these are the things that make me think, hmm, this is a little bit more than a cold. And these tend to develop four or five, maybe even six, seven days into a cold. They're not the kinds of things that happen on day one or two in most instances. And that's why hand washing is really so important to try to reduce mm -hmm. these recurrent colds. Uh, decongestants don't tend to work very well in children. They're not even recommended anymore, so it's frustrating. We don't have any other methods for dealing with this. 
if they're uncomfortable, some Tylenol, or if they're over six months of age, some uh, ibuprofen. So, so either acetaminophen or ibuprofen would be good for helping with the fever, making them more comfortable. Really all we're trying to do is comfort care. Uh, try to get them to take as much fluid as possible. That would be really nice. I don't worry too much about their appetite. If they feel like eating, they'll eat. If they don't feel like eating, they won't eat. It's the fluids that I care about, mm -hmm. about the most. Humidifiers help sometimes. Humidifiers can soothe the throat, make them uh, worthwhile. How many colds do you think a child gets per year on average? No, knowing my little hand, it'll probably be a lot. Want to guess on a number? Eight to ten. It's a pretty good guess. About seven to ten is about right. Yeah. Uh, that number can double in daycare setting. Mm -hmm. So if you do the numbers, you can have a child who's sick 100, 100 days out of the year, and that's mm -hmm. just a lot. I also avoid combination medicines, especially as they get older for the children four and older that uh, can take medications. I really don't feel it's safe to give uh, decongestant combined with uh, fever reducing medicine and other things because mm -hmm. oftentimes we give way too much one medicine over the other and that's really not that's really not good. I thank my guests for sharing their experience with us. I'm Dr. Carey and I thank you for watching. For more baby care education and to sign up for our free newsletter please go to www.drcarries.com where at Dr. Carey's we teach baby care. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, let me see your ears.